Hello guys and welcome back to our chaotic succession campaign. So a campaign where I'm switching my nation every 30 years based on your feedback. We start with France, then move into Timurids, then we move to Naples. From Naples we went straight to Manchu into Qing, then we've played a bit of Saxony into Prussia and in the last 30 years we moved to Florida into Texas. Today Based on your really good feedback, I'm gonna play as Eilat Emisir, which is pretty much Egypt. This is for a few reasons. One is they are about to be annexed by the Ottomans, so it's literally the last one to save them. Two Ottomans are searching for the decadence, because if we go straight to the country, you will see that the decadence is already on the level of 38, which is giving 38 tech cost, minus 19 for defense, 38 percent idea cost. All of this nasty minuses that for example make their tech cost this is the tech that they're one year behind of this tech it costs them 880 to embrace but it's still of course gonna be hard because they have 400 force limit and 300 income but we're gonna handle this with an issue of 67 income 66 of force limit 14,000 maximum power more or less up to date with technologies more importantly we have the, all the institutions and uh, decent ideas for religious, quality, trade, quantity, espionage. I will start with taking prestige and one person loans here. You see our max absolute is still very high, we're not uh, there yet. Take a policy here for the goods produce modifier, cancel the siege ability one here and uh, take the trade efficiency just to increase our economy. This is fine. I'll switch the improved relation with uh, diplomatic reputation because we will need some nations to just support our independence. And with the money that we are having, I'll first of all build all of the Mamluk infantry that we're having, 13,000 of it. See, they have a few nice bonuses. Then with uh, the rest of the money and manpower, I'm gonna build cannons up to the force limit. Good. With this 1.2 thousand, I'm gonna invest into a few main power buildings. And instead of building Spine Network on another one, I'll start improving relations. Well, actually, if we need to improve relations, I'll cancel this. And instead, I'll take the diplomatic reputation from religious diplomats. Now, we improve relations with rivals of the Ottomans. So that's gonna be Mughals, France, Commonwealth, and two Sicilies. Building our special units is gonna give us plenty of perma claims. By the way, we should also consider changing our name back to Egypt. So restore our name. This is funny because even though we are Egypt, we have Mamluk ideas. I'll have to think about this later. As for this, guys, let's turn them off. Just use the flagship, which is a bonus to trade ships. Hit these guys to support. And obviously why AI did not have to pay for the free to protect trade, I will have to do that. We need to get our little birds are over 50%, so we're gonna stop the annexation, otherwise it's gonna finish any moment. So what I'll do... Oh, these guys were accept... Okay, yeah, there it goes, there it goes. First of all, Mughals, see it's 61% already, so this is not gonna progress. Now I need... I want to get at least France as well to help us, which is doable. AI yeah, is... Smart, see, they are supporting our loyalist, which is minus 20 percent, is below 50 percent again. They want to annex us hard. With every extra month that we are earning, I'm now gonna build the four slimy buildings to increase our amount of the troops we can handle. First bonus from issue of absolutism is gonna be yearly absolutism. This is because I have like no possibilities to increase it, why my max absolutism is pretty high. So we're gonna get two yearly at this point. I can go ahead and scoop through these Ottomans to allow us to lose less stability when attacking them. But more importantly, improve relation with each of their enemies. There goes Commonwealth, so I'm pretty much, you know, gathering Avengers to stop the Ottomans. I also don't need the fort here. We'll see if it'll be enough. See, Ottomans are placating us right now to decrease the <laughs> better desire. Um, I will take this for the siege ability. And there goes France. The only question is, uh, should I also try getting to Sicilies? We just need to get rid of uh, hostile attitudes, which might be hard, so... I'll simply start getting ready for the war. To get fully ready, I'll let the professionals burn first. And now, 
can take a loan and recruit independent company, which will be accompanying my canals. So we have like full canal stack with, see, 29,000. And with this canals, I have 28,000 canals together. So we are almost on the combat with the buff. And I don't have a general, that's the boss part. And I will just add 5,000 Mamluk troops to have the full combat with on the main stack. These guys will be just reinforcing. So Mr. Ottoman, let's declare royal marriage. Can I cancel royal marriage without losing stability? No. So just, I mean, I, I will do that anyway. Because uh, at least I'm not getting AE. And now, let's declare the war. And see if my allies will have much more troops than the Ottomans. Much more troops than the Ottomans. We just have to improve both this. Stab cost is very low, so it's fine. So in this stack to see their armies, at least the one. We're gonna disappear now. We no gun ALET, so I can take the Mamluks government instead. And this guy should be carpet sitting. Money's alright, I'm only using six ducats a month. And uh, we just have to pray that uh, you know Mughals, Commonwealth and France are gonna tank it for us because if Ottomans come with all of the troops here, I have no chance. And just remember, I have such ability. And Ottomans do not have defensiveness, so that's like pretty easy, so thanks to Decadence. Yes, uh, Venice just sent me 700 decades of gift. This is how we can have fun. Well, here. Oh, okay. Oh, really? That won't be enough? So I did it goes down right now 42% and I reinforce it and kill them. Still too late, but I still kill them. It's not as easy as it might seem to be, but yeah, we are winning with similar losses. Our AIs, uh, Mughals are tanking a little bit. Commonwealth and France are pushing. Lovely. And France came with 25 heavy ships, so we should be able to together block the straits here. Yeah, they will help, right? Right. That's why I just was left alone. Sometimes we cannot understand what allies are gonna do, but I guess it's fine. Let's go try wrapping these troops in Sham. Well, we might be causing a fall of the Ottoman Empire. What's the development? 2.4 thousand. That's still the biggest country in the world. And uh, I'm sure that some of you are happy to see this. It might be funny, but I have 50% more participation in this war so far. And 50k of my troops died out of 126k lost in total. This is probably the biggest battle we're having so far. And trying to reinforce this fairly... Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. We have to win more of this kind of battles to increase our war participation. All of the great powers have so much troops, the game is super laggy. I might need to restart it. I'll just first finish the war. Tier 11 guarantee form is gonna give us max absolutes and admin efficiency. Should be pretty useful. So we could take maybe a bit more from this war. Okay, I think we are done here. Well, Ottomans almost fully occupied. They still have 200k troops running around. We could wait a bit more to just fight them, but they recovered it anyway, guys. Let's just not lie to each other. So these guys will lose four trusts, these guys will lose one trust. I think this should be good enough to keep their alliances. I can't keep it with France, they have 40% uh, war contribution. I will lose it for sure, but it's fine. Just take this. If I take this, they're gonna lose four trust and one trust. So it's all good. Unless I take... Something like that. Now we are independent of all of these promises. I know that I need uh, a workshop in Dumyat. It's because we've got an important mission here. So the rivals, I can go with Yemen, I can go with Venice, and I can go obviously with the Ottomans, call that one province, and add these provinces to states. That should help with our trade income. In Of course, I'll, this will drop. My income will generally also drop. But uh, let's see after a month take how much we can keep of it. Oh, I see trade is also trash. Why would I need a merchant in Gujarat? Hey yo, what the f Let's send this guy to Ethiopia instead. Here I will take the trade. And trade will also need uh, a couple of new trade chips. That's actually still pretty decent. 128 income, of course 23 from war reparations, but we are getting 
a lot by ourselves. How about we also improve these trade centers to keep everything high? So guys, I don't think I can change my ideas from Mamluk to Egyptian. So I hope that you don't mind, but I'm gonna ask my friend to say if I did this, to change our ideas to Egyptian, just for the pure roleplay of playing Egypt, not freaking Mamluks. Hackerman. It took me some time, but there it goes. Egyptian ideas are in our hands. I hope that I did not break anything. We are getting trade efficiency, admin efficiency, free policies, death cost, monthly military power, merchant guilds loyalty, production efficiency, land fade damage, max general fire, max general fire, ships can repair when I cost for seasons, and the global trade power. So free policies, I can go and take the second one here, but I don't need it. I probably should not slow down. Because we are really ahead in Adri mana. We can just start going south. Building the workshop in Dumiat. It's a mission that gives 5 Kremlin and ability to export grain. Can I try doing it to Mughals? Let's see what it does. Mm, they're not gonna accept. We'll find someone else. And that uh, Dumiat mission also unlocks us Kashifs of Egypt, which allows us to become a Caliphate and their local organizations or we can go into a path of getting the Egyptian government and getting the westernization mechanics as I'm gonna play only 20 more years I think there's no sense to go with westernization that's why I will go for the caliphate sorry if you're gonna hate me for that let's see what kind of organizations we are getting not ah, just one but lo local death cost and they cost Adiman Adi oh, Milman but I'm also ahead in the mill points. So you can go and unlock organizations map mode and just do this. Spend all of our mill points. That should increase our manpower nice. It's already 90,000. Are there any trade? Oh, yes. We need to build the trade depots wherever it's available. Why I can't build anything here? For some other buildings. Like shipyards taking the place. You don't need a shipyard. With them, same here. Once you get prosperity, I will build something else on your place. And in the meantime, we'll need trade depots. Oh, this marketplace is giving me a mission Alexandrian trade. Which is construction trade buildings in a province will get granted 5 prosperity. Oh, that doesn't change much. Father of the African Rivers. Unlocks Neil River Transportation Burger Estate Privilege. And every province in the requirements gain one base production. <sighs> this is nice. This is auto development. This is an auto development. Let's see. Burgers. That gives us ship trade power and production efficiency. Sure. And cultivate the delta, which is mainly about deving. It's gonna give us. The new asteroids will be granted production, local trade power flat and percentage, or mercantilism, free local goods process modifier. Um, let's go for the first one. Let's see how much more percentage we have here. We have 61% right now. With this change, to be honest, I expected more. That wasn't worth it. But anyway, we'll be building more of the. Maybe not training fields because for 290 that is 1.5 thousand of manpower, it's not much. For this, 483 thousand. This little peace deal is also fixing our borders, <laughs> at least the emplacement. So it's uh, getting a bit better and we have to figure out how we will attack Yemen because for now they're protected by freaking Mughals. We got over a hundred balance already, so we are scaling rapidly. Hand came manpower, power, hand force limit. Okay, guys, there it goes. Mughals, uh, they took some loans. How? Oh, they're fighting Bahmanis. Okay. They took a couple of loans. So I can go ahead and attack Yemen for the conquest of. I have claims here. I think I can even reach these provinces. That is bad, but yeah, let's try for going for the Zabit. Looks like my rule died, I can choose a new one. There was an ability that allowed you to preview the stats of the ruler. Wasn't there. Well, let's anyway just go and take the Syrian guy. Just five one. If I wanted to, I could just restart the game, you know, until I get someone better, but there's no need. That war is far harder than I expected. Because it's not only Yemen, it's also Somalia and Vlatia. Uh, Vlaita. 
So, so far we are pushing, but it's slow. And then we refine the Furicia, which is about a new tradition. It's giving us gun reform progress and modernized Furicia tier 5 gun reform. Let's see what it's giving. Tier 5. Our Mamluk special units gave 5% discipline. Recruiting generals increases the loyalty and ability to a person. Each advisor generates yearly innovativeness per level. A Mamluk's force limit. What is. Ah, of course I want this. And so we're looking for Gantry Forms. I'm gonna take the one for yearly max absolutism. So now it's at level 72. Ottomans warned me. Which is okay. It's pretty much the only nations that I can fight. And our truce is gonna end in six years. Look, 124k of the troops already died. 100k of mine. It's not an easy war. Can I at least push them back on my own fort? It's hard. See, my army quality is so bad that I win it, but barely. So this reinforcements, they were almost on time. Let's just shift consolidate before they arrive here. Is it a why? Because if I wipe the lighter troops. I don't wipe. But yeah, I can have a white piece. <sighs> at what cost? I won this war, but at what cost? Oh my god. GG. Can go ahead and peace out Yemen in a second. I'm not taking these promises because I don't have access for them and I have ships around here. So instead, I'm taking everything else. Hey, he is fine. Borders are fine, will be even better once I take my course from the Ottomans in a couple of years. Ooh, Spain is dying to France at last. Prussia keeps expanding. And Morocco finally starts expanding here. You gotta be proud of this kind of Texas. I'm super proud. I'm also super proud of this thing they actually right now in the middle of killing Russia. I should guys start looking a bit deeper into what kind of missions I can take. Because I was really looking not too deeply. I'm right now working to get the Venetian mission. I also have a mission about Sharikia, which requires me to do it 10 times and no building slots. It's death 9 times. So I just go ahead and dev it one more time. And let's wait for money to build something here. Well, why would I wait? Or I can just simply go ahead and take some money. This might be of use, but anything else? No. Let's just take this. And the rest of the money, we will build these beauties. We have more than Venice. Is it already working? Yeah. Let's see. So this gives me... Changes the development of the Suez Canal by three. Ah. And starts the construction of it. Where can I check where it's gonna be finished? Should be a great project, right? I, oh yeah, there it goes. Now it's fixed. But it's not saying when it's gonna be finished. My two civilians must end it, but I want to deal with the rebels first before I start moving. The Venetian mission is giving us uh, strong power regulations, which is for 20 years, 100 trade power in Alexandria. Let's see what's gonna be the impact. 54% of the trade power, now it's 63. So my total income is at the level of 166. Mughals technically do not want to help me against Ottomans, but I can just go use my favors to ask them to prepare for war. And with this change, you see they both want to help. I just go for the reconquest of, oh my god. Okay, because I say all sorts of conquest castles bellies. I don't have... Okay, there goes the conquest. Afraid for a second. It's for the conquest of Kudos. Kudos. So for the of the troops, you see, we've got like 350,000. Ottomans have 160,000. You see, they're already losing 20% of our defense because of their decadence. So my siege ticks are just 16 days here. See, this is going pretty fast. I think I've pissed off Ottomans. They have recruited up to 270,000 troops. And I don't know how they took tech 20. It should be cost even like 1.2 thousand. Commonwealth, they're busy fighting on the North Pole, <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost all of the troops, instead of helping with the Ottomans, which are focusing hard on us. See, only here is 200,000 troops. Let's try being efficient in this battle, meaning I have to take my whole artillery. 
the Merc stack and uh, attach it to the artillery. Then from these guys, I'll leave half of this. So now I have more or less uh, two rows that will be complete at the start of the battle. Yes, yeah, you've considered it again. Please don't say that I'm attacking. I'm attacking for the generals. Go this way, so I'm gonna grab a general. Yeah, of course. Of course, they had it to, ta to take it on such a low percentage. Yeah. Preparing for 5,000 hours to play efficiently just to get a trial troll by 20% siege. This is me in a nutshell today in this war. Yeah, I, I can't win really on 70,000. I've lost much more troops, which is obvious because of how this battle started. At least I'm draining their main manpower. Okay, this time I'm well prepared. I'm ready for any battle, including a wipe. Ah, close to wipe, but not a wipe. Let's try following them up and going back for the war goal. No, don't run away. I mean, if they're going to a fort on the mountains, it might be a good battle. Slowly, slowly, but we are pushing them from each side, but... This was much harder. The France was making a big difference last time. I'm switching my strategy from, you know, one focus on battles. I switched to a strategy focused on seizing down the provinces. So I split my camels on a half. My troops also a bit. So we're having two or around 50k stacks just running around sieging. I think both me and Thomas are done here. Almost a million troops died in this war. This was like more bloody war than the first one. Um, from us, it was almost 200k. I'm gonna take all of these provinces. I'm, wait, am I taking something for the Mughals? Why are Mughals occupying this province? This is a joke. <laughs> Just give me more money instead. Well, this is the peace deal. Egyptian borders are even better. I'm gonna go ahead and core this few missing provinces and get ready to pass this country to AI. I will death a lot before doing so. What's the mission though? The mission is Unite Arabia. Which changes development to Nizva Fort by one. Nizva. I obviously it's about this. So it's autonomy change cooldown globally. Ah, nothing special. Well, with this war we fit over 200 income. The last espionage idea, there it goes. Let's give an interesting policy. Missionary strength. But also manpower. Okay guys, we're done here. 227 of income. Pretty much 200 without war reparations. Fixed borders. Ottomans being way weaker, and I think even AI could handle them 1v1 next time. 180 of force limit, 180 of maximum power, and close to be a great power, but it's not that easy anymore to become it. Let's see around the world. France obviously keeps expanding. Oh, 360,000 troops. But Prussia is also doing nicely. They border France now, so I'm afraid how it's gonna end up, but Prussia allied Ottomans. That was after my war of the Ottomans. Commonwealth City Life Mughals is expanding really quickly. <sighs> See? Chink is not expanding in Japan, but they are expanding in Indochina. They already have 2.3 thousand of development. British are occurring in Indonesia already. Kilwa is also slowly dying. You see British are here. Morocco is expanding and they are even in uh, Iberia already. Or oh, in the new world, Texas is making me proud. So guys, as usual, Please remember to leave a like on this video to support it and subscribe to the channel to get notified about the future videos, especially that I see that half of you are not even subscribing right now. And finally, leave a comment what should we play next. Bye!